Hello viewers, this Dow Too Fast here. In today's video, I'll show you this rear window roof visor I installed on this Hyundai Elantra. Now before I was able to install this, I did have to remove the old tint on the back window. As you can see, the old tint has a lot of bubbles, and often this is caused by the defrost line heating up many many times and causing the adhesive on the tint film to separate. Now depending on the quality of the tint, some will react like this and some will not. Now you can take it to a tint shop and have them remove the tints, but to save some money, I decided to do it myself. After I removed the tint and the adhesive that stuck on the window, I then took it to a tint shop and had them install the new tint. Once that's all done, then I installed a new rear window roof visor. Here's a close-up look of the rear window. As you can see, it has a lot of bubbles. Besides looking ugly, it also reduced the visibility from inside the vehicle. Now when you're removing the old tint, it's best to do it on a hot sunny day so it can really heat up the back window. That'll help soften the adhesive and from the inside of the vehicle, you can pull the old film off. Now if this tint has been on the vehicle for many years, then most likely the adhesive will be stuck on the window. But go ahead and pull the entire piece of film off and in my case, most of the adhesive was stuck on the window. Now I do want to apologize for not filming all the steps here because the day I was doing this, the weather was very hot. Now the tricky part in this tint removal process is getting all the adhesive off the glass. To make the removal of the adhesive a lot simpler, the product that I use is this totally awesome degreaser. You can pick up a bottle of this at the dollar store, so it literally costs a dollar. I dilute this with water, so the totally awesome is about 70% and 30% water. You also need a white scotch pad, and this one you see here will not scratch the window. Now on this vehicle, to make the cleaning a little easier, I went ahead and removed the rear deck. This way I'll get better access to the corner and the edge. Then all you have to do is spray the solution onto the glass window and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Using the white scotch pad, work one area at a time and scrub the window. You'll see the adhesive come off and wipe it down with a paper towel. The last step is to clean the entire window with a good glass cleaner. In total, it took me about 30 minutes to clean this whole window. After I cleaned the window, I took it to a tin shop and had them install 25% tint on the back window. I paid 90 bucks for this one window and I saved some money by removing the old tint myself. As you can see, the new tint looks really good, and the visibility from the inside is very good now. With the back window tinted, now I can reinstall. installed. I'll now install a new accessory for the back window and this accessory is a rear window visor that's specifically made for this Hyundai Elantra. I had to order this directly from South Korea. The shipping took a couple of weeks but here it is it came in without any damage. Again this accessory is made specifically for the 2011 to 2016 Hyundai Elantra sedan. Let me take this out and I'll show you what it looks like. Here's a look at this piece. To install this is very simple. As you can see, it has 3M double side tape along the edge. So all you have to do is remove the backing on double side tape and then stick this directly onto the back window. They've also included this adhesive primer. So before you install the visor, open this pack and take the swap that's inside and rub this over the surface on the back window where the 3M double side tape will make contact. I went ahead and put a piece of tape here so I know how far down it goes. Next, I'm gonna clean the window, make sure the surface is clean. In this bottle, I have some rubbing alcohol. Take out the adhesive primer, and then carefully apply this on the edge where the 3M double side tape will touch. And then let it dry for 30 seconds. Next, use a knife and pull back the backing on the double side tape. Now what you want to do is just fold this over and don't remove the entire backing. Do the same thing for this double side tape. Now carefully line this corner to the corner of the glass. Press this down. Continue removing the backing along this edge and then press this down as you go along.
Now you want to apply pressure on this for about a minute. Here's a look at the installed rear window visor. I think the car looks really good with the rear window visor installed. What do you guys think? You like it or you don't? Leave a comment below. Anyways, I'm glad the window tint is fixed. On to the next project. Hope you liked the video and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.